What up internet? In this video I'm gonna show you how to get your PS5 DualSense controller to work on Steam and on the PC. First you're gonna need a way to connect your PS5 controller to the PC. You can do that in two ways. One is you need a USB-C cable. You're gonna need a cable that's capable of data transfer so just a charging cable won't work. The one that I have right now is ironically an Xbox Elite 2 cable uh, and I would say this is the way to go because you don't want to if you're playing fighting games you don't want to deal with any latency or lag or disconnects. The second way you can connect your PS5 controller is via Bluetooth. So you're gonna need a PC or laptop that's Bluetooth capable. What you're gonna do is you're gonna need to press the PlayStation logo and the share logo. So press and hold it. Okay, until you see how the blue lights are blinking continuously, then we're gonna hop onto the PC and then configure it. You're gonna go down to your taskbar here. Click or double click on Bluetooth devices. I'm gonna go add Bluetooth or other device. Okay, we're gonna choose Bluetooth. Alright, and here you'll see the wireless controller input. So click on that. And voila, your device is ready to go. It's all synced up. All right, let's go ahead and open up Steam. We're gonna go to the big picture mode. Click on this little icon here. Okay, once you're in, click on this gears icon to go to the settings. Controller settings. Typically, I choose the Xbox configuration just because it's more compatible and I'm used to the Xbox layout. All right, after that, under detected controllers, click on this guy. And then it'll immediately take you to the screen right here. And this is where you'll bind or map your buttons to each action. So this picture will guide you and it'll tell you what button corresponds to each command here. So primary action, so that means this is A. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press A controller here. And then we're gonna just go down the line. Once you are done mapping all of the buttons, click save. And I'm going to name this guy PS5 DualSense. All right. Uh, you can share this or not if you want. I'm going to click no thanks. All righty. So there you go. Now your controller is all set up. It should work on any game that has controller support. If you found this helpful, give the video a like and subscribe for more. See you later.